Hey friend, and welcome to this video on Power Platform. In this video, we'll showcase one of the amazing things about the Power Platform, namely your ability to generate an app from a data source. Today, that data source we'll be looking at will be Excel. So what we will do is to select an Excel file, and from that file, it will create that app for you. So first of all, make sure that you are, have navigated to makepowerapps.com, once you're there, you will see roughly this, and what you can do is to select the Excel options, like so. Once you select your Excel option, you will be taken to a page with connections. You can set up various connections for the Dataverse, OneDrive, whatever connection that you want. So here, for example, you could be selecting to add a new connection, and as you can see, there are quite a few options like Dropbox, DB2, Google Drive, MySQL, and so on and so forth. Many interesting data source options. Today, we'll be looking at OneDrive. So we have already established that connection. We are able to select, and it will show me the various folders that I have at my disposal. Now, I have a specific uh, folder just for uh, Power Apps Excel files. Uh, I've already been experimenting with one of them, which means that I will select this one, which is something that you can download yourself from uh, Microsoft documentation. In fact, let's have a look at that. This is actually from here. I can leave the link at the end of the video, but this tutorial here shows you how to work with forms. So you go here and you select the table. Once you've selected the table you want, you hit connect, and then you give it a few seconds lo and behold you got an entire application at your disposal you have search functionality up here you have a list showcasing all the various data inside of your app you have a plus sign that enables you to add more entries and so on let's just run this app to see what we're getting out of the box so yeah you can definitely search for items so let's say that you want to search for something Play, you can do so, it will narrow down the option and if you again want to showcase everything you just have to erase what you're searching for. Now here uh, I can select a specific item and I'm taken to a detail screen. On the detail screen I have the options to either remove something or edit. So I'm gonna try to edit. I'm gonna say Instead of beige, I'm gonna say cream, and now I'm gonna hit the confirmation button, and this will end up saving this change to the data source, so this might take a second or two. So now it says cream, and I'm verifying that I can actually search for this new term. I can, that's great. But what's really interesting for me to understand is, in my OneDrive did this change? So if I go to my OneDrive, I check out my Excel document. And I can see that this change has actually happened live inside of my Excel doc. So yes, the data source, my Excel file has been connected to via the app and the app is able to control its content. Let's also showcase something else, namely to add an entry. We have uh, uh, a bit, okay, so we have various carpets, hardwood, tiles. What could we be adding? Maybe floor, let's add a floor. We currently don't have an image, but we can say nice Roman floor, something, and yeah, let's say it costs a hundred, and we are able to create it like so. Okay, we've selected all the bits, we've given it a category, an image, a price, overview, should be able to save this down, and yes, uh, by the way, don't have your Excel file open at the same time, this might, might cause you a network uh, lock. So definitely make sure that Excel file is closed while you're working with it. And yeah, now you can see that nice new entry. You see our new floor here, nice Roman floor. If we want to change that entry, we can do so. I could be called, probably change this, get this overview here. Not sure about whether this is Roman floor or not. Probably looks like teak. So yeah, let, let's tweak that a bit. And again, it synchronizes towards our data source, our Excel file. Now we've actually interacted with the app a little bit, so let, let's see what it's actually creating for us and what these components are. In a future video, I'll actually create all of this from scratch, so you can really appreciate what Power Platform is doing for you. So high level, 
make sure that you're here and at, at the tree view once you're at the tree view you will be seeing all the different screens that it has created for you so first off it has created the browse screen this is a screen containing what a gallery component that is listing all the data vertically it uh, contains various bits such as text search boxes for example so you can just click this and see what's what this is the uh, this one and then the text search box that's where you enter the information then you have an icon and then you have yeah you can see that this has functionality so let's quickly just go through icon sort so yeah let, let's have a look at the uh, the other screens so here for the detail screen this is if i were to select a specific item this one lays out various things such as a detail form a label an icon uh, a rectangle and so on the edit screen has an edit form some labels and other bits so yeah lots of controls already laid out for you for the sake of curiosity let's say what it's done a browse gallery, a gallery in general is something that we're going to use to showcase information. Now, uh, browse gallery, just, this is a gallery component. What we can see is that it's setting the data source here on the right. We can see that the data source is flooring estimates. We can also see that under items, it is creating this sort by columns uh, expression that enables us to sort. We can also see in the layout how it has chosen the layout. If we don't like this layout, we can either go in and select a new one or we can move things about as we see fit. Let's say, for example, I want to move this title to be over here. So yeah, there's a lot of customization that you could be doing. You don't have to take this appearance. Let's see, is there anything else? Yeah, this one. This one says refresh and this is on select. So this is uh, an icon that we have. And this, so this one is able to freshly fetch whatever is in the excel file uh, should something else have been adding to it or you've done so but you haven't updated the screen for this one we see uh, that we can select the order of how we sort so by calling update context we have this sort descending variable that we can just negate meaning every time we call it this is a boolean that we change from true to false or false to true when we call the plus sign it is calling new form. This is a function that enables us to work on a new form, but, but still have some kind of connection to the data source. A new form and, and forms in general, those are great. And also as the second argument here, we see that it navigates to the edit screen. So two things is, is happening. Having a closer look at the other screen, the detail screen, we see that it's using a detail form. We see that the data source is set to flooring estimates. Also interesting to know is that you have an item property and this item property is important. This governs the population. It needs to know what to populate it from. It's not enough to say this is the data source. It needs to know what in the data source has been selected. And the way to know that is the gallery component, the one that uh, on the, uh, the browse screen is able to showcase the content in the vertical list. It's selected property this is the one that you need to mention and set the item property to. Now, because everything has been generated for you here, what I'm talking about right now, if you generate the app, you don't care about the, these details, you really don't have to. If you're interested in building this yourselves, it's a good opportunity to learn how these things work. But yeah, don't worry, I'll go through a separate video of how, uh, all the different forms. So the edit screen then finally has an edit form and its data source property is set to flooring estimates we can see that over here you can customize the fields here as well and just like with the new screen or, or the screen where you enter a new item you have an item property that you need to set to select it for all of this to work and quickly look here at the confirmation icon you can see that if we select this one it will call submit form and this is how you save against the data source and we actually missed doing that yeah so depending on what context you're arriving at the screen you're either going to treat it as an edit screen in which we work on a selected item or we are working on a completely new item and how do we know which is which well if we hit the plus sign it's going to call new form on the edit form meaning that it will start out blank but if you've actually opted to go to the uh, to a specific item via the detail screen you can see that if I'm using the pen 
then it's instead using edit form instead of new form. So that's a big distinction. Depending on if it's edit form, it will edit a selected item. If it's new form, then it will completely start off with a new item. But once you save that form, it will end up in your data source, in this case, an Excel file. So this is all I had for you. First off, I showed you how to start off from an Excel file, generating that app and knowing that, wow, I got all these screens for free. And then I got into detail how these things work. And don't worry, I will have a separate video where we will show this in detail as well. So hopefully this video was something for you who just wanted to generate an app and also something for you who want to know what's actually going on. How come this just works? And you could all see how I was able to add new entries and even update existing entries. So uh, hopefully you feel inspired to go build your own app now. So uh, thank you for watching and I would love a thumbs up. Uh, and if you're inclined to do so, I would also love a subscribe. So hopefully I'll see you in a future video.